In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the options available under the Render Passes tab in the Mentacore Globals. The first thing you'll see is a list of available passes on the left. These are passes that don't need existence seen but can be created. To create some passes, first select the ones that you want and press the double arrow to the right. You'll see these now exist under Scene Passes, and these are passes that exist in the scene but aren't currently assigned to the render layer. To preview a pass, right click Preview Selected Pass and do a render. You can also select a pass to preview under the drop down in the render view. To add these passes to the current render layer, select them and press Add to Render Layer. These will now be calculated when you do a batch render. To remove the render passes, select them, press remove. And finally, to delete them, select them and press the double arrow to the left. Mental Core also allows you to do pass presets. Right click in the scene passes and then select from one of the four predefined presets. Or alternatively, you can save and load your own presets. Right clicking on a render pass will also bring up some more options. You can select the render pass to change any of its attributes in the attribute editor, rename, add to the current render layer, preview the selected pass as well as some linking options. Further down you'll see some more settings. These toggle on and off types of render passes. First is beauty passes, which are passes like colour and diffuse that make up the final render. Pose passes, such as depth or normals that are used in compositing, matte passes and custom passes. You'll also see some options related to the primary frame buffer such as channels, bit depth and pass group. 